Hello guys and gals, welcome to a new video. So this is going to be the first tutorial off of my new machine. Uh, I finally got all the pieces for it last weekend, I've been talking about it for a while. Um, finally had enough money to just go ahead and do it. Um, so I've built a new machine, woo isn't it swirly? Um, it's, it's much more powerful than my old machine, um, it's about three times more powerful. So hopefully we can really push this engine now. Right, so um, in this video we're going to go over, bear with me for a moment because this is a bit too loud in my ear, there we are. Uh, one of the, what we're going to go over in this video is game instances. So if you can imagine that we've got this guy here, this is our character, and he's got lots of lovely variables inside of him. He's tracking things like score, health, mana, experience points, I don't know, collectibles, all sorts of things. Uh, and so are a lot of the other things in the world. We load a new level. The thing that's going to happen is all of the variables are going to be back to default. The reason that's going to happen is because our character, our, our regular blueprints are not persistent across levels. Every time we load a new level, it loads a new instance of a blueprint. So what we need is a way to store those variables and pull them across uh, different different levels. So what, how are we going to do that? We're going to right-click Blueprint Class. And then we're going to search for a game instance. So like that. We're going to call this my instance just here. And now we're going to leave that guy alone pretty much for, for a short time. We're going to go to edit up the top. We're going to go to project settings. And now under maps and modes under the project on the left. If we scroll down to the bottom, you can see here we've got game instance. Now it's already picked up mine uh, because I was testing this a little while earlier. You're going to have game instance as default. Just change this to whatever you've called your instance. In my case, it's my instance. I'll close this down. And now our game is going to be using the my instance as the game instance blueprint. Huzzah! Okay. So let's now give the third person character something to track. We're going to open him up. And now I'm just going to say uh, left mouse click or left mouse button. I'm going to give this guy a variable. I'm going to change this to an integer because I just need full numbers here. I'm going to call this clicks. Let's make him public so that everything can see it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get clicks and we're going to say on left mouse button set clicks to clicks. We say int plus int, int plus one. So it's going to set clicks to current clicks plus one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to print a string to our screen, which is equal to clicks. There we are. So this little guy here is a converter. It's converting an integer into a string for us, so that we can see that. We're going to compile this down, close it, press play, and now if we left click, you can see in the corner, it's counting up. See there? 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Lovely. Now if we were to press play again, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Now just to show things off, uh, we're going to go to our maps. You can make a new map here. I'm just going to duplicate because it's a little bit quicker. I'm going to duplicate this and call this new map. I'm going to open new map and save everything. There we are. So now I'm inside the new map. I'm going to select this text on the floor. I'm just going to change this to say new map just so that we can tell the two apart. Now we'll head back to our third person example. Save it. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is just to show that this doesn't work across different levels is we'll say right mouse button. When we press the right mouse button, uh, open level, level name, new map. There we are. So if we compile this now, we go here, press play. If we click, one, two, three, four, 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 there we go, 13. Right click, we're in the new level. If we keep clicking, you can see there, it's reset our variables. So you can see that the character itself isn't persistent and it does in fact reset our variables. So what are we going to do? We're going to go back into our game instance here. And what we will do now is add a variable. We're going to match the variable type, so integer. But in here, I'm just going to call this something slightly different. I'm going to call this GI, game instance, underscore clicks. Compile this. I'm going to make this public just to make sure that we can read it properly. Compile it again. Close that down. Now we'll head into the third person character and we're just going to do something else on the, the mouse button. Now obviously you're probably not going to be loading your level on right mouse click, um, but you can follow this logic wherever you're going to be loading your new level from. So what we'll do, on um, right mouse button we're going to cast to and then my instance. Right click, get game instance, 
plug this into object. There we are. Now what we'll do as my instance, we will set GI clicks, and we're going to set GI clicks to clicks. Okay, so plug clicks into GI clicks, and now GI clicks is going to get set to whatever our clicks is. At that point, we'll load the new map. Okay, so yay. The slight thing here is obviously if we were to do this, press play, click, root 5, right click, you can see we're still resetting. The reason we're resetting is because we're not pulling the data back down again. So what we need to do is uh, begin play. From begin play, we're going to cast to my instance, get game instance, plug these in. And then we're going to do the other way around. So, as my instance, get GI clicks. And then we're going to set clicks to GI clicks, like so. And now that's pulling the data back down again. Yay! So, if we go in and we click, we've got eight. Load the new level. You see here it says new, new map, and it's continued counting. We're on 16. We've reloaded the level, and it's going to continue counting. And that's how you can transfer your variables across levels using a game instance. Yay! So there's one more order of business to do. Um, based on the raffle from a couple of weeks ago, uh, I believe it was 11 days ago I announced a winner. He unfortunately hasn't been back in touch, or she, he or she unfortunately hasn't been back in touch. So true to my word, I'm, I've, uh, I've picked some new one. Uh, you see here, I re-rolled it, and we've got... Lex Gertz. Uh, what's up? Great channel, man. Keep it up. Uh, this guy's the new winner, or this girl. Um, I'm going to be in touch with them shortly um, about claiming the prize. Hope you guys have found that useful. Uh, see you guys next time.